we had a great opportunity and great challenge and we couldn't quite deal with it. Uh, played uh, probably about as good as we could play on offense. A little bit subpar in the special teams and not very well on defense. And uh, so uh, resulted in a shootout and one that uh, we came up a, a short uh, by a touchdown. And, uh, you know, uh, it's uh, <clears throat> it's hard to uh, say uh, exactly, you know, the things I asked the defense to do was get lined up, know your assignment, uh, execute it, cover, cover your man, and uh, – don't give up big plays. So, you know, obviously I don't need to talk next time. Because <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't get that message. But, uh, and we, we've actually not been bad about getting off the field, uh, on th uh, which is what defense really is all about these days. You know, nobody really slams anybody. But, you know, getting off the field is big on third down. And, and getting them to punt it to you, give it back to you. And we we did get some possessions back, uh, get some stops uh, at, at some times in the second half, but uh, not enough to uh, to do what we wanted to do. And uh, very prolific offense uh, on their part. Uh, they, they can do it all, you know. And uh, break and get it down the field, and they got some. <laughs> they got three of the best receivers on one team. Uh, and 84 might be the best three receivers on one team, you know, just him by himself. Uh, he uh, he's a he's a dynamite guy, and uh, those other guys are good too. Levin, I can't remember his name, and 83, and uh, you know they they play they hit some other people too. But uh, they got us one time on a little wheel right out of the backfield, which you know our our corner just goes off into nowhere and uh, not covering anybody and it's his man that's coming out of the backfield down the sideline and so uh but you know you got sometimes you got to understand the, the circumstances and you got to understand uh you know what you're dealing with and you know uh it sort of looked like maybe we had our head in the sky a little bit and and, I, and of all things uh you know, even our devotion was about that. Lonnie, Lonnie's always, Lonnie Cochran is always on cue. And he talked about uh, uh, the arena and, uh, you know, keeping, you, keeping your head in the game, keeping your head on the field. And, and get, so, of course, he always gives bi biblical uh, examples of things. And, uh, but, uh, you know, we, we, we uh, didn't do enough to win, and that's the big thing. And now we're going from a, a team that spreads it out all over the field and throws it everywhere to a team that, that's uh, very different very dynamic uh, triple option, counter option, trap option, uh, and then, you know, play action pass. Uh, team that is very, very disciplined and uh, and uh, normally very prolific. So we'll have our hands full. We're spending extra time already yesterday and today defensively trying to trying to lock down on what we need to do and what we can do execute-wise and – and uh but you know we're we're into the some of y'all always asking about those must win we get into some must win area you know and uh i hope we respond well to it questions well you know conversely as dr jack would say you know uh on the offensive side of the ball, I asked them to block their front, our offensive line. Our offensive, our offensive line played 100 snaps each, and we had no sacks and we had no turnovers. I asked, uh, I asked our quarterbacks to play together. They played as good as they could play, the two of them. I asked our receivers to, to get off of press coverage and make plays well everybody did but the two outside guys took the game on their backs and made made a lot of plays and number 20 rushed for i don't know over 100 or mm -hmm. and uh and i thought i thought our coaches on offense had a had a great plan for these cats and the draw became big we did run a little shovel pass but the draw 
and Corey does a good job. I, I don't know if we ask uh, Dion to run the draw or not. He runs the draw. He runs it. We don't hand it off. <laughs> but uh, we did have a couple of cue draws that were. But draw, when they were trying to get out of their man-to-man deal and play the three-man front, the draw was huge. And uh, not only with the running back draw, but with a cue draw. And uh, but there were some there were some really good things there. We we didn't kick the ball uh, very well. I don't, we, we didn't lose the game in the kicking game, and that was what we went in there. Made. What we were trying to do, and I know it looks looks crazy, but we were trying to pooch the ball to about the twenty yard line. And our 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 guy Jed, he just I mean he was under kicking the ball. I mean missing actually kicking it too short, and uh, and uh, that's you know. Something will happen. Young guy never never played in a place like that, and he's trying to kick it in, a, like trying to kick it in a bucket down there, you know, pooch kick it. And we were lining up, and we were seeing where eighty four was. We're gonna kick it the other way. Made a lot of sense to me. Uh, probably if we'd have just stayed with a, in retrospect, if you just go kick it to him and go cover and see if you can tackle him. But uh, I didn't know sure thing, being able to tackle him. But uh, a lot of things uh, figure into a game with a hundred and however many snaps in it. Y'all remember how many? I don't know how I don't know how many they had, but I know we had over a hundred on our offense. Uh, Four-hour game, and uh, you know, you know, you can't get too excited during the course of the game, or you screw around and have a heart attack, man, because you stay, you're out there forever, and. Uh, uh, but uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I'm proud of our kids. I, you know, again, we talk about resilience. They, they popped right back in there and had a good work last night. We, uh, we're not, we're not as good as we need to be, which is very obvious. And I wish all these folks that uh, want to talk to me and and email me would figure that deal out. There ain't no coaches playing, and the same coaches that coach five straight championships are coaching. And, uh, you know, so uh, – and, and I, I happen to be here for those five also. So, you know, it, you know, if you want to talk to somebody, you know, talk to me. But uh, anyhow, it's, it's just the nature of the beast, the nature of the beast. If, you, if you're going to be in the – you know, if you're going to be in the arena, you might as well get ready for criticism because it's always going to be there. And uh, if you don't even, – even in some wins, you know, you'll get criticized. So you got to be able to deal with that, and you know I try to I try my best to protect uh, our coaches and players from it, <clears throat> and uh, it'll infiltrate your your life through your spouse. It'll infiltrate your life through your secretary. It'll infiltrate your life through other uh, means of people who really care that will call and beg for a chance to talk to you. And then they'll tell, you, they'll tell you something that is just totally, totally out of the park, you know, not even close. And uh, so, but we just deal with that. That's just part of our job. And, uh, you know, it's public relations. And, you know, um, we'll, we'll, uh, the Troy is the one that needs to be the winner in this whole thing, whatever happens. And we're going to try to make sure we do our part. And, uh, and try to win these last three questions. Coach, you touched on it going from the spread in Tennessee to a triple option in Navy. Talk about that. What's the most difficult part defensively for preparing for Navy? Well, yeah, I mean, number one, you have to get lined up. And we, we're going to be very simple. You know, somebody, every time they snap it, has got to have the fullback. Somebody's got to have the quarterback. Somebody's got to have pitch. And somebody's got to have pass. And there's four guys scattered across there that can run down the field. And they'll even get they'll even get that fullback out some, you know. But uh, and they'll run a little reverse here and there. They they uh, they I mean they got a they got a good football team offensively. But the, the main thing is they're they're so disciplined with their attack that uh, you know they make you they make you be disciplined. If you get out of if you get out of whack or you get out of position, then they're going they're going to be able to to take advantage of you. They do a lot of reading. There are a lot of what we call double option where they don't read the dive. They're just trying to block the edge for the quarterback or get him to the pitch cue where he can deal it and uh, to a back that's coming flying around. And then, 
you know, you'll get settled in all that, and all of a sudden this guy will come motioning across, and he's way out there, and he'll sling it out there to him, and you gotta you got to react and get force on the run in a hurry. And they throw off of that action. So, you know, uh, they're uh, – they're well oiled. They really are. And uh, and uh, Buddy Green, who's their defensive coordinator, I've been knowing for years and years. Uh, was a head coach at at Chattanooga for a while, and but uh, he's he understands what they're doing on offense, and he caters the defense to them. You know, he's going to bend but not break. He's going to try not to give up big plays. You know, he's going to play deep coverages and you know make you earn everything you get. They tackle well. So they're burning clock on defense, just like they're burning clock and yards on on offense. So they try to get the game over with, and uh, uh, and, and uh, you know their their head coach is uh, he was raised in this offense by by Paul Johnson. I, I think I'm right at Georgia Tech, and you know they they uh, they know all the little little nuances and. They came out of the hat with a play uh, last year up there that that they hadn't run in three to five years. Of course, the system lets them call it, and it was a perfect call. And it was, you know, it was a fake to the right. Quarterback comes straight off the fake and goes deep, and our 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 secondary rotated and he hit the seam down uh, with the slot going down the seam, and with no no pitch motion, just a fake and and. Uh, so uh, you know they they know what they're doing. They're very very good football team, well coached. You mentioned last year, as far as film work is concerned, will there be any focus on watching last year's tape and trying to implement some some game plans from last year's wall? We we've watched um, last year's tape, and uh, we've watched uh, uh, every game they played this year. We've watched the teams that have done well against them. Indiana, although they scored thirty. One on Indiana. 30, uh, Indiana played well on defense, pretty well on defense. Thirty-one thirty game, and uh, there are some other games that we uh, the uh, what San Jose beat them twelve to nothing is a game that uh, that we'll be trying to study a little bit or have been studying, and you know you try to take what other teams are doing and and see if you can. Uh, fit it to your guys, and you know it's just so much you can do. You know you you got to line you got to line some people up over that center and our guards, and uh, they got a little check game. We feel like it goes either way, so you got to try to make them. You got to try to line your front if the ball's on the hash to try to make them check to the short side of the field, and. Uh, they invariably will check to the bubble, which is the nose and five technique in. And, you know, you try to run it down from there. And But it's all about option responsibilities. You got That's first. You got to take care of that or they'll run out to the end of the stadium every time. You mentioned being disciplined, of course, with the run, that passing attack. That's something they can, if they, yeah. they're pounding it, they can quickly catch you off guard. You can, like, put the pass play and. There's no question. You got to you got you guys in the secondary. Got they got to know who they're looking at, and they got to know if he releases upfield, they got him. And uh, if there's a rotation, a zone rotation, the the backside guy is coming over. It flows to the right, and the left safety's coming over. He's got to be looking at, for because this guy's rotating up. He, he's got to take that guy. And somebody's got to take that guy on the other side. But we got full flow, so there's not one over there. So the backside side has got to take the shoot route and uh, of the of the slot guy. And so, you know, uh, there's a lot of nuances to it. You've been watching a lot of film on them. That uh, Keenan Reynolds kid, the broad minute quarterback, seems to be just working wonders for their offense, doing a very good job. 19. Yeah. yeah, he's good. He throws it pretty well, too. Good player. Um, yeah, we feel like it's a must-win situation. Yeah, three games left in the season. Um, offensively, we're just trying to keep this momentum going into this game, uh, give another good performance, and just help help the team out as much as we can to get this win. Talk about the resiliency, I guess, when you're down and, and that ability to, to bounce back. Just talk about what, I guess, 
the focus on the offense and just the ability to do that in the game? I think it's just, I think it, it shows how much we trust each other. Um, we believe in each other that we're going to make the plays when they come. When the, Whoever the ball goes to, we feel like he's going to make that play. Um, who, whatever quarterback is in the game, whatever lineman's in the game, whatever running back, whatever receiver the ball is going to, we feel like those guys are going to be good enough to make the play. And we just feel like if we perform to the best of our ability, that we can't be stopped and we're going to be able to score. More than once last week when you talked before us, you mentioned consistency, you know, needing to be more consistent on offense. Certainly had that last week. Can, as a unit, yeah. can you play any better than that? Um, yes, we can. I actually, um, those last couple of drives in the fourth quarter where we actually gave the ball back, we had a good game. But, I mean, if we if we score right there, then you never know what happens. If, if we have a better two-minute drill, we, we might get overtime. So, even though we played very well, we played the best game that we have this season. We didn't play perfect. So, um, it's never a perfect game anyway. So, we have some things that we have to improve on, and we're just going to try to do that. How's the attitude of Yeah. yeah, we're pretty upbeat right now. Um, it helped a lot for our confidence. Uh, a lot of guys got to play. A lot of guys got to um, experience the atmosphere like they haven't. So um, we're pretty energized, and we're ready to get we're ready to get to Saturday. You spent some time with at the Air Force Academy. Can, can you talk a little bit about the level of discipline that you know that your guys will be facing on Saturday? Yes. Um, I actually told a couple of the guys that in my mind, when I think about service academies, um, the difference is the difference between a, a cadet and a regular college student is when that coach tells them to bang their head against a brick wall until it breaks, they're gonna actually do it. And a lot of people, they not they not gonna they not gonna take that for for what it is. But I know. The level of discipline that a cadet or a person in the military has, that they, they're just going to follow instructions. If he told me to break break this wall with my head, we're going to bang our heads against this wall until it does until it does break. So that's what I've been telling the guys all week. Um, we got to be ready because it's going to be a battle. Like it's, these guys are actual fighters, so that's what they do. So we have to be ready. Uh, I mean, yeah, it was. It, uh, it definitely uh, felt good to get an offensive um, performance put together like that for four quarters. Um, my guys, at outside receiver, inside receiver, offensive line, running back, everybody, you know, played lights out. Uh, we played about as good as we can uh, play. And uh, it was unfortunate to come up short at the end, but I think it was, uh, you know, Uplifting, and I think it showed some of the guys on offense, you know, what we're capable of whenever we play with uh, the amount of confidence that we played with that day. So, um, you know, we just got to go into these next three games with that confidence and uh, hopefully make it to a bowl game. Talk about that confidence level, and obviously uh, it's got to be motivation for you for those three games. Do you feel that it's going to be motivating to because you've got that behind you? Absolutely. Um, see, I think we kind of we kind of went out there the other day with the mentality of, you know, let's just. Let's just go out here and let's sling it around. Let's, uh, you know, let's just let's just try to put it on them. Um, you know, we knew we were going to score some points because obviously those uh, two wideouts and the quarterback they got is pretty special. But um, we just kept saying, you know, even if we got down by ten, you know, we just got to score two touchdowns. We can do it. You know, they're going to get a stop, um, and they did. You know, we we just didn't capitalize on one drive. I think in the fourth quarter, which you know it could go here or there on some things, but definitely. I feel like it's going to be a big confidence uh, booster for us in the next three weeks, hopefully uh, enough to get us three wins. But frustrating, I would think, too, to be able to put that many points and that kind of performance and not be able to succeed. I mean, it is, but, um, you know, at the same time, we all – understand that those guys are out there doing, you know, the same things that we do every day, you know, putting in the same hours. Um, Really just, you know, trying to do the same thing that we're trying to do is win. So, um, you know, whether it's, you know, whatever it is, whatever the problem is or was, um, you know, those guys are out there giving it, you know, 100% just like we are. So um, <clears throat> that's all you can ask for is effort. Um, you know, whether it works out, sometimes, 
you know, things, you know, they're not going to go the right way for you all the, for all the time. But, uh, you know, we just got to keep lifting those guys up, man. Just we only score 14 points to get North Texas in one. So it, uh, it goes both ways. You know, they've played good. We've played bad. We've played good. You know, they've played uh, bad. So it's, it's gone both ways, uh, just kind of how our season's gone. But hopefully we can uh, get it together, like I said, these last three games and, you know, put together a couple wins. Uh, it's more, more of a, a good feeling that we're gonna, you know, get to play Navy again after the performance we had last year. It's a, it's not, not, not any type of revenge or something like that. It's more of just uh, how bad we played last year, man. It's just we, we got, you know, we can't, we can't play like that and you know expect to win football games. So it's more or less getting back out there against them and uh, you know showing them that, you know, we're not what we were last year, definitely. Well, we play – I mean, obviously we don't play a team that does this, you know, every single down. But, you know, we've played a couple teams that like to hold on to the football, you know, North Texas, uh, Western Kentucky. So uh, it's all about capitalization this week. Um, when we do get the football in our hands, if you'll remember last year, the first two drives, you know, we took it right down on them, right down on them and fumbled twice. So – uh, I definitely think, you know, we're going to be able to move the ball on them as long as we, you know, keep playing with the confidence and um, those guys keep making plays out wide. I mean, that was a, you know, a tremendous game for me to watch. Those guys just go out there and make plays like that, just just as much as the inside guys. Had the juggling act earlier this season and you have the one-minute grab. Just talk about, I mean, Saturday for you and your play. Um, you know, like at practice, I, I try to catch one hand pass as much as I can. I do it in pregame. And um, I really couldn't get both my hands up, but I just saw the ball and I just stuck one hand and just stuck to my glove and I just kept running. Have you thought about changing your ringtone to the Sports Center top ten thing? <laughs> uh, no, nah, not really. It's just I keep my phone on vibrate, so it's just it's just gonna vibrate. Talk about the health, man. I see you sort of got the uh, the ankle wrapped. How, how you feeling? I mean, yeah, I'm pretty banged up, but I'll be good. I'm standing in the training room, just trying to get better every day. What's the mindset? For this offense with Navy coming to town, um, yeah, my mindset is I'll always uh, protect the ball, score as much as we can, and make plays whenever we get a chance. Are you, what are you guys going to try to do differently in thinking about last year's game against Navy compared to them coming in this year? Yeah, you know, last year we turned the ball over a lot, so we just got to protect the football, and um, I think we're going to be able to move the football on them and just make uh, plays whenever we can. Um, yes, you know, I think we win the last three games. We might be bowl eligible. I think um, we just want to win every game and see if we can uh, become bowl eligible. So that's the motivation. Confidence just that, you know, just seeing the performance on Saturday, just how much confidence does that give this offense? I mean, I think we had confidence all along. I think we just couldn't really put together four quarters in uh, each football game. We finally did, so we should be able to put four quarters again this week. Core is mentioning, you know, whether you guys are down by 10, you know, you can like 14, whatever deficit that you guys may have, the offense is capable of doing that. Facing this Navy team, of course, the defense is going to have a lot of different scenarios with the triple option. They could run, pass. Does that same mindset with the offense in terms of whatever, if there is a deficit, whatever Navy does, you guys can match it? Um, yes, we're going to try to have to because, you know, they're going to uh, hold the ball as much as they can running the football. So I think every position we get, we're going to try to have to score.